After talking to his grandmother on the phone, Thomas realizes that his grandmother is still very sad about the death of her husband. After quickly packing his things, Thomas travels to the countryside, to the house where he often spent weekends as a child, to help his grandmother cope with the death of his grandfather. Silent Nights is a horror game in the genre of walking simulator, drama, and a psychological horror. This game looks very interesting, and we're about to dive in. Thanks for joining me, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. off the bat looks great everything's maxed out see how it performs might have to turn it down later it's immediately got a creepy vibe the birds are chirping sounds happy enough but uh grandma's house as a child i often came here for the weekend get in. Oh, it's locked. Left click. A lot of creaking. This is going to be spooky. My grandparents had a spare key. What did I say? In a rock in the backyard? I should pay attention. That's as fast as I can go. If you guys want to check the game out, link in the description will be in the down there. There's no key under that rock. Now there's a key. There it is. That's a creepy looking thing. What is that? I don't know. Let's leave that alone. Use right mouse button. Or what? What am I supposed to use it on? Okay. Let's try this door. Um, unlock. Unlocks main door. Okay. We gotta go to the front. Game looks amazing. Okay. Unlock. Note from Grandma. Grandpa's lighter. Can be useful. There's a candle here. Should we light these? Why do I have a feeling that power is going to go out? I'm not going to light that. Or maybe we could. How do we put it out? Yeah, just like that. 
This is Grandpa's lighter. He loved this lighter and always carried it with him. He always said he wanted to give it, give it to you, Tom. Take the lighter to hands or our mouse wheel to scroll. Okay. Looks freaking amazing. It is eerily quiet. I need to take off my backpack. It is very heavy. How do I do that? Backpack. Oh. Okay. I don't need light during the day. Nothing changed here. The smell takes me back to my childhood. Looks a little worse for wear. Well, it's a mess. I should clean up the kitchen before Grandma gets back. She will be glad. Uh, right mouse button takes trash. Oh god, dude, that scared the crap out of me. I'm assuming this is probably spilled juice or wine or something. I can't pick it. Oh my god. A delay. What the hell? I have a rock. We have a rock. Let's put it on the table. Perfect. Do we clean everything? What am I cleaning here? It's another candle. We gotta keep the candles in mind. There's another candle. Very creaky. What is this? Nothing. Even the table is in the same place as many years ago. I remember writing a school essay on how I spent the summer. I wrote about fishing and picking mushrooms I remember our walks in the great outdoors and spending cozy evenings with my grandparents reading books. They even helped me with this essay. It's moving faster than I can read. I wonder if Grandma's even watching TV these days. An old aquarium. When I was little, there was a lot of fish in it. They say that watching fish swims, watching fish swim calms you down. <clears throat> Is that all the trash? A diary. Clean up the trash in the kitchen. Oh, right here, maybe? Is this what they're talking about? Oh, there we go. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this. Oh. Fork? That's not trash. Some food. A little tiny chef. Clean up the trash in the kitchen. I don't see any more trash. What am I missing here? Can we open the fridge? No. There's no more trash. Talking about the plates or this mess, right? Ooh, the creaking hits me every time. There's 
There's nothing playing there. Yeah, it just says clean up the trash in the kitchen, but I don't see any trash. Nothing that I can pick up anyway. Well, let's move on. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Let's check these rooms. Bathroom and toilet in one room. Very thoughtful and convenient. I agree with that. Alright, nothing in there. Clean up trash in the kitchen. There is no more trash in the kitchen, goddammit. Look, it's empty. Other than just a mess. Let's go upstairs. So spooky. Grandpa's old books. He loved to read and re-read these books. The old fireplace. As a child, I used to love sitting here reading books while it was raining outside. Keep looking around the house. Grandfather's TV. He loved watching it. Sometimes he would fall asleep on the couch watching his favorite show. Grandmother was always very angry with him when he... She would wake up in the middle of the night. And he'd be there, I guess. I'm not good enough reader, guys. A ladder to the attic. As a child, I like hiding there. But growing up, I would come to visit. What the hell? You guys heard that, right? That was a freaking door. Oh, my God. You know what? We're going to go up the attic, I guess. I was wondering what's in these boxes. Probably grandfather's stuff. Grandma brought them up here. God, Lady of Steel. There's another candle. There's candles everywhere. Grandpa's old tools and other stuff. I don't see anything up here that we can interact with. Wow. These are the soda cans that I left last time I came up here. Alright, let's check these rooms. Did you hear that? My god. Grandmother's room. I can't imagine how cold and sad she must feel sleeping here alone. I definitely heard some form of breathing. That's upside down. Lady night. Free cocktails. Hell yeah. Yeah, there's candles everywhere. Let 
the guest room. I always slept in this room when I came over. Okay, nothing in here of any importance. Not yet. Keep looking around the house. I'm a little tired. I need to rest and wait for grandmother to return. I think the sofa on the ground floor looks perfect. I guess we're going to sleep. Oh god. Wait, we have... aren't there lights here? Can't we just turn on the lights? Oh, Jesus. Scared me. God, it is so dark. Oh, those lights turned on. You gotta keep looking around the house. What is that noise? Is that the freaking TV upstairs? I think it is the TV upstairs. I'm just looking for light switches. There we go. Get some light in this joint. I'm not liking this. Okay. What the crap? Where is this sound coming from? Uh, I don't know. It's still talking. There. It's breathing up there. Oh, shit. I don't want to go up here. Crap. Shadows are a little weird over there. Keep looking around the house. That's what we're doing. There's nothing up here. I feel like lighting this candle is a good idea. There is nothing there. Granny, are you back? Jesus. Is there a light switch? I didn't like that. There is a note. I cannot sleep without you. When I lie down in bed, I check to see if you are next to me. Maybe you're lying and reading your favorite book. But when I put my hand where you used to sleep, I understand that you are... You are no longer next to me. Then I start to cry and howl and I can't stop. In such moments, I go out for a walk and look at the moon because it reminds me of you and our evening walks. I miss you so much. My god, Grandma, I'd only one... I'd only known... You were sad. Okay, evening walks. It's raining so hard there. I hope you're on your way home. Eat something.
There's something breathing. I can't... Oh, great. That's locked. That's wonderful. Alright, we're supposed to eat. Uh, I guess we're eating that. Canned peaches and cereal. That's what I need. When Grandma comes back, I'll do stuff. What the? My god. We love to dance. God, how we love to dance. I remember the first time you asked me to dance. Our favorite song was playing. The song we later chose to dance at our wedding. I so badly want to dance with you just one more time. I want to hug you and for you to hug me. I want to lay my head on your chest again. I want to feel your scent and your touch, my love. Yeah, this is getting sad. I'm trying. I'm trying to eat. It is absolutely not letting me. Do I sit down? No. I cannot interact with any of this. We need to see what that noise is. I think it's upstairs again. this TV. What the fuck? Uh, you're not welcome here. You should probably leave. Oh, fucking shit! I miss the way you watch TV at night. I've always been mad at you, but now I'd give anything to hear you watch it. To hear your footsteps when you go down to the kitchen to eat at night, and how you would snore falling asleep. I miss the feeling when you would come to bed in the middle of the night. You'd lie down and hug me so lightly. You never wanted to wake me up, but I would wake up anyway and smile. How I cherish those moments. It was always so warm and cozy. It's so quiet here without you. Quiet and cold. As I read these notes, my eyes start to well up with tears. I also loved my grandfather. I lost my appetite. I'll take a shower and go outside and look for grandma. If she's not back by then. Oh, fuck. Off. Wasn't there a candle right here? Yeah. We have no power. Wonderful. Still locked. Guess we're going back down. Go to the shower, which is down here. God, it's so dark. What the hell? And we already read that note. I'm just lighting all the candles. That's a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't like the dark. My god.
candle. Please be a candle. I did not shut that. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna shower. And we're all nice and clean. Grandma, is that you? Find Grandma. Oh my god. We still haven't eaten. Dude, the breathing. The breathing is not okay. Definitely not in here. Is it really gonna go make me to make me go to the damn attic? That's still locked. Candle? Yeah, the candle's still lit. Grandma is not here. Grandma's not in the house. Unless she's in that locked room. Back downstairs. What the crap? Is that upstairs? Dude, my phone rang. Scared the piss out of me. Okay. We're still looking for Grandma. I don't know where the hell Grandma would be. Upstairs again. Sure sounds like it. And now that door's shut. Grandma, are you here? Are you okay? Why did you close the door? Okay, I'll go make some tea. Guess we're making tea. Make some tea for Grandma. And how do I do that? Is Grandma crying? I don't know what is crying. Everything, there's so many weird noises. Alright, well, we're making tea, I guess. It's percolating. Ooh, 
We still haven't eaten. There's some weird noises happening. Should I be going back up there? I don't know. It's, it just says make tea for grandma. I don't see any more. No, my god. Grandma, are you here? Is everything alright? I hear you crying. Switch off the stove. Jesus. What happened there? It sounds like something is falling down on the floor. God. Go upstairs. Shit. There is some form of struggle. It's a note. I can't live without you, my love. I'm mad at myself, mad at everyone. Sometimes, out of anger, I start to smash everything around me. I destroy everything, just as I destroyed our lives. You die because of me. It's all my fault. That's not good, Grandma thinking it's her fault. First thing that comes to my mind is this is going to be a possible suicide thing. What the hell? Somebody's knocking at the door. What the shit? Check the door. Now I'm afraid to walk around. Okay. Check- Whoa! Oh my god! You are not welcome here. You are absolutely not welcome here. You should probably just go away. Just leave. Why do you want me to walk over there? Shit. No oh, fucker, motherfucker, fuck. Dick. I need to find the key to the main door and go outside to look for Grandma. Jesus. I mean, I doubt there's a key in there. No oh, fucking shit! Fuck, I almost pissed myself. God, that is such bullshit. Okay. Fuck. Did we read this? You loved hiding things so much. I was very mad at you because of this. You even hid the dishes. And when the guests came, I couldn't find anything. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I fought with you over such petty things. I wish I could turn back time and laugh about it. When I was little little, my grandfather liked to hide toys under the cupboards, sometimes even under the pillow. His pillow. I'm guessing pillow. I can hear footsteps, I think.
Okay. There's a key. There's so much breathing happening right now. I can't tell if it's my breathing. And now there's whispering. Open the door. stressed out right now. Should I take my backpack? Can't. Can't unlock this door, so I must be at the wrong door. Fucker shit. Stairs again. Are we supposed to open that door? It's telling me to open like the main door. Oh my god, I just noticed the candles. They're going low. Oh god. Ugh. You can't see me, but I'm squinting really bad. There's a key. What is that sound? Oh god, I don't know. Open the main door. Why is that mannequin head there? That was not there before. There's no- Whoa, fuck you, motherfucker! I forgot I need a flashlight. It's too dark and rainy outside. Find a flashlight. Shh, Shisa. And where would that be? God damn it, it's gonna be up here. No. Why are you making me go up this? Oh, no. No, no. This is such a nope moment. Oh, shit. Better. Now I'm going to take the raincoat and I'm ready. How do I get my flashlight? God.
Which number is it? It's three. Alright, we're just going. We're going? Raincoat. I guess we're going outside. Oh, no, no, no. An instant cutscene, okay. Road closed. Road closed, hmm. I think Grandma went the other way. This way, I think, is the only way. This is as fast as I can go. yet. How about not any note yet? I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. I guess we're going this way. I am not turning around. God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. going to happen right now. Just do it. Just do it. <sighs> Fuck. Shit. This is not a good scene. This is not a good place. This cabin is not good. You son of a... I didn't see a note in there. Yeah, maybe I should look harder. I didn't see a single note in here, though. Yeah, there's... Oh, god damn it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, yeah. I need to get back to the trail. No kidding. Okay. The jump scares are absolutely terrifying. Alright, this is it. Full blast. Can't go any faster. We came from there. We're going this way. I'm, I'm afraid to look into the woods. I'm not... No. 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 Absolutely not. Shit, shit. I wish I could run. No. Please. No. I 
construction works. I need to ask the workers if they have seen Grandma. Um, I'm pretty sure there are no workers here. I'm also pretty sure that's something standing there. Okay. What? Oh, no. Okay. Um... That is something. That is something. That is something that I don't want to... Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah. Shit. Oh god, what was that? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. No note yet. Is that a note? It is a note. Boss, it began to rain heavily, and we decided to go to the nearest cafe to eat and wait it out. P.S. Just now, we saw a lonely grandmother here. She walked through the forest and went towards that strange totem. We asked her if we could take her home, but she did not answer. Strange totem. I'm not going over there. We're going back this way. Or this way. Do we have a map? No. For some reason, M is that. I, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Maybe? I see light. Dude, the ambiance is... Phenomenal. I don't know if this is the right way or not. I really don't. I have no clue where I'm going. We were already there. That's the construction. I think I went the wrong way. Uh, I don't know. I guess we go this way? I don't know. It looks like a walk. Uh, a path of sorts. No. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. No, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Shit. Uh, no. Crap, crap, crap. No, nope, 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 nope. This is the totem. Found the totem. Okay. There's a note. Here it is. The totem. The legend of the spirit of the forest. There is an old legend among the locals about the spirit of the forest, which helps people lost in the forest find their way home. But in order for the spirit of the forest to agree to help, you need to give him something. It is said that the spirit of the forest loves fresh fruit. Uh... What the crap? Well, there's light here. Might as well go over here, right? So there's that. I think it's the only way.
There's that, but did we come from there? I think we came from that. I don't know. Oh god, please. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. We're just gonna keep walking this way. I wish there was a run. I really wish there was a run. And I guess we gotta find fruit. Fresh fruit. Oh. No. That looks like fruit to me. What is this? And here are the apples. Let's read the note. For travelers, if you get lost in the forest, just ask the spirit of the forest and he will show you the way. I feel like the spirit of the forest is trying to kill us. How do I take the apple? Do I just carry it? Crap. So we gotta go back to the totem. Alright. I made it back to the totem. I dropped my damn apple and I cannot pick this son of a bitch up. There. There, oh, okay. Oh, fuck off. Jesus Christ. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, you <laughs> son of a... Follow the light through the woods. What, this light? Oh, yup. Okay, here we go. Through the woods. To grandmother's house we go. I am not enjoying the dog in the background. Is that a path? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, God. found my grandmother. She was sitting by the lake, crying and freezing, all alone. I immediately ran up to her. I put my jacket on her shoulders and said, Everything is fine. Everything will be fine, Grandma. Let's go home. Silent nights. This game is absolutely terrifying. The jump scares are great. They're, they're done very well. If you want to try this game, link will be in the description below. It is fantastic. It's a great story, too. I want to thank you for joining me. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Wild Pop Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.